This graph shows the cost of hosting a dance, C, as a function of the number of students attending, N. What is a restriction on the domain? Well, taking a look at our graph, we can see the cost of the dance here on the Y or C axis and the number of students on the X axis or N axis here. And we have to find a restriction on the domain. In other words, a restriction on the number of students. Well, there's a couple ways you can think about this, but um, consider an actual dance with students. First of all, can you have five students at the dance? Yes. What about 200? Yes. What about 37.5? No. It's not possible to have a uh, not whole number um, values for the number of students. Consider also um, the number of students being negative. That's also not possible. So when we think about the domain for um, this example, we can only have values for the domain which are whole numbers or integers and which are also positive. So the way that we could write that, um, instead of writing out all of those values, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., what we can do is instead say that the domain is simply all positive integers. That tells us that the domain can only be uh, full students <laughs> instead of half students, and that there have to be either some students or no students. There can't be negative 